Across the Edamathi Sea in Aramon, Teros's forces prepared a surprise attack from their well-fortified encampment. The Teros commander notified King Lochin. The necessary defenses are in place. This land is disgustingly soft and filled with life. I hate the cloying, almost sickly, sweet smell of the very air in this absurd land. I anticipate nothing stopping our progress toward the capital. A swift cut to the heart will rid us of these self-righteous sons of Aramon. I expect victory to be sudden and without mercy. Tsar Golan, Field Commander, Host of Taros. Hello everyone, if you haven't heard, my name is Jack. Welcome back to Total Annihilation Kingdoms. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, I've explained why it's taken so long for me to get this video to you. And the, the short version is, is that uh, I hadn't found a strategy that worked. Now, I didn't get any defeats, mind you. This is like my ninth time trying to do this. In fact, I would have had this because I did get the victory last night when I record, uh, tried recording this previously. And when I went to look at the video, I'd run out of hard drive space and it missed the end. Like, I was just shy of it and for whatever reason it started coding a different video and then stopped. And I didn't realize this until it was already too late. But anyway, I did get the victory and I finally found a strategy that worked. I'll explain while I work on the strategy right now. Uh, the setup for this part of the game is essentially to... Um, uh, build up your fortifications, build up a, ma a massive army, and then go in. So I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it and what I did wrong previously, or not so much did wrong, uh, but we'll get to that. So, do, 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 do. resume game. First things first, we gotta get a homeboy over here to start making some lodestones, because we need them. We need as many as we can, as quick as we can. Okay, so we just have to wipe out the other side's uh, buildings, fortifications, guard towers, and the mage builder that makes it all happen, which includes all their lodestones. Uh, there are only two that I'm aware of, and so... At this particular point, I've got more than enough hard drive space to handle this whole thing, but... Uh, I still have to, <laughs> here I am playing as uh, one of the, the darker characters in this game. <laughs> Happy little deer just prancing around. Look at me, ooh. I am at one with nature. <laughs> here comes another one, or is it the same one? Once I get enough lodestones built up here, because that's not going to take up any time. I want to make sure I have all the sacred stone sites covered here, which will give me a total of six and then seven once I get over here, because there's a site right here. But over here, if you see where I got my cursor here, there's four uh, uh, guards. <laughs> and there's only two entryways up here. There's this spot, and then there's this spot. And so, in the, in the previous attempts, like I said, I didn't get an actual defeat. What I was doing was I, uh, the first couple times I did it, I was building my walls, I was building gates, and it was taking forever. And then by the time I finally had an army and you know enough numbers to actually do something, it was uh, not enough. And it wasn't powerful enough either. Like I was summoning up black knights and everything, and, and I had like maybe 50 of them, and it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And then I stumbled across this. Now, uh, the strategy I'm about to use is the exact same strategy I'd used before. So now, now that we've got these lodestones built up, I'm going to have him build an abyss. And why an abyss is what I is actually uh, what I was about to explain. So. I had conjured up everything from Black Knights, the Executioners, uh, the Zombies, uh, Skeleton Archers, Gargoyles. Gargoyles don't do anything. Um, 
and uh, the birds. And one of the, it was like a, a couple of attempts previously to the one that it, you would have seen it and it was great. Uh, <laughs> It was, I discovered that the birds had an incredible attack to them, okay? And these, so I was like, well, what if I had them en masse? So this was my strategy. Maybe Hitchcock was right. Freaking birds, man. They'll never see it coming. For a couple reasons. They attack hard, and they attack fast, and they can cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Plus, they don't take a whole lot to conjure up. So, like, one of the first things that I intend to do, once he's done with that, is I'm going to summon up about ten uh, Dark Mages. And they're going to do the rest of the work that I need done right now. <laughs> then I'm going to send him over to that other Sacred Stone to make another Lodestone. So that we have more mana coming in. And that's going to cover all the high ground spots on this map. Now, if I wanted to, they're, I mean, they're scattered all over this map. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's one here. And this is where they have their lodestone, one of them. One of the two that I'm aware of, and I'm pretty sure it's all the ones that there are, because I, you know, uh, but we have to destroy their encampment, we have to make sure that they can't produce any more soldiers. It's not about killing all the soldiers, but a good number of them. So... Unfortunately, spoiler alert, this strategy did work. <laughs> and now I'm about to demonstrate that this strategy worked. Now, going back to what I was saying earlier, though, this is almost done. What I was saying earlier, though, is that I didn't get a defeat. It was about time. The thing about this game is, is that there are many ways to play it. Many, it's all about strategy, how you decide to go in, what works, and everything. What mixes things up is that it goes in between all these different... Uh, Alright, that's done. And then here's why I'm gonna send him over here to conjure this up. He actually has an ability to attack and create at the same time. So it works out pretty well. And those four guards don't even stand a chance. In fact, if he I don't want him on the defensive, I, I want him on the offensive. Once he's over there, I'll show you. It's going to take a minute. But anyway, it was a, it's about time. And... Making sure... That I can... Because... Uh, with these videos, I've noticed they're going to get longer. And as as I stated in a previous video, that uh, as as the game progressive, <laughs> progressive progresses, as the game progresses, the videos will indeed get longer. And so, I want to make sure that I'm you know not only giving you a, 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 a the fastest, most effective strategy. Uh, to get through these levels, but also um, have the videos a bit short. See, now he's done. That was good timing on my part because, like I said, I mean, this guy's got, he means business. So now I'll move over here and I'll show you the other guys. We'll take him out, because those archers really don't do much. He's almost done. Yeah. It's going to take an awful lot of hits for him to go down, but he also has to survive, so I'm going to protect him. He's going to stay there. So, anyway, now that that's done... I'm going to build another Cabal, or, oh, sorry, Abyss, instead of a Cabal. And we should have quite a few Dark Mages at this point. Oh! Doggone it. Now, <laughs> see, that's a, that's a problem. Sometimes you have to, uh, 
be mindful of uh, all that you're conjuring up. But I'm going to try and have my... I got to build the defenses up first. No matter what, that is strategy number one, is build up the defenses. I, I discovered this quite by accident that I don't need to build the fortifications or wall or gate or any of that stuff. All it does is just slow them down. I just have to stop the preemptive attacks and then go in and hit hard. So, I mean, if you haven't figured it out, this has, uh, because it's worked, it, it, it has proven to me to be a very fast, effective uh, uh, strategy. And these mage towers are worth their weight in gold in this game. So, <laughs> I, ha I have to admit, I, I, I can't complain. There shouldn't be too many more this way I can split it up, you know, five and five. Yeah, he's still, it's still taking him a while. There's only one more dark mage. And then he'll help out there. And then this guy, when he's done, Holy cow. Now, I don't know if I've pointed this out before. This here is the mana counter. This is what I have to work with, and this is what seven lodestones is doing for me right now. But I've got enough of a defense up that it should stop anything from coming in at the moment. So these uh, cage demons here, they definitely uh, work really well, and you'll see here in a, in a minute because as you can see, they're already starting to come in, so I'm glad I did what I did when I did it. When I did it, I mean. Next order of business here. You notice I'm not stopping. We're gonna stop at 100. Actually, we'll stop at 90. That's a nice round number. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to end up uh, having that many when I make my first attack. The reasoning behind this is, is as those birds continue to uh, uh, be produced here, I'll have them all go in the same spot. I'll send my first wave down and attack fast and hard, and if that doesn't get the job done, which... <laughs> By the time I start sending the birds down, it's it's already too late for them. And yeah, you'll see, you'll see. I I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like somebody who's watched a movie before. Someone to go. <laughs> Wait till you see what happens. But it, it, you know, it's not going to play out exactly the same. But I know what to hit, where to hit it, how to hit it, and how fast to hit it. And so. Uh, this this will be this will be a good one. Looks like we got some action somewhere. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The other funny thing about this is they will attack the deer. All right, now we're on to the birds. Good deal. Good deal. So oh okay, he wasn't quite done yet, but now he is. So you can help on that. These guys are almost done and I'm going to have them build. I'll have them put up probably another cage demon and one more mage tower and that should cover all that needs to be covered because as, as I go on I'll probably put even more up. Yeah. But the cage demons don't take so long. I have three of them working on it happens a little bit faster. He's doing pretty well on his own, so there's no no real sense in uh, wasting too much uh, resources here. Alright, these guys are done. Now this is the spot where they do like to come in, so I am putting uh, one more mage tower here. As 
this is the one. Either way, what this ends up doing is it ends up drawing the enemy up, okay? And they'll just start attacking those spots. But uh, I, I actually have gotten the, these all up a lot faster than I have in my previous attempts. So my goal is to make, like I said, I, I want to make an efficient strategy that makes for an entertaining and, and short video. I do, I, I do have a lot of long play videos, and so I'll try not to have the time drag on too much and speed up where necessary. Yeah, see, they're already done with that. So now they can help with that. The mana usage isn't too bad right now. <laughs> it's still taking this guy forever. But that's okay. We've already got the, the bird production started. So I can just keep these guys busy building up all of this uh, defensive stuff. Then, once I feel I have close to enough birds, I'm going to send them down here as a distraction. I'll try and build some mage towers ahead of time, but to have more mana coming in. And it looks like no problem in the bird production. Are we still on our first one? Yeah, we're still on our first one here, so I'm going to slow down on that for a minute. How much? Yeah, see, we're not doing too bad. We're only 16 minutes in. On my recording, I mean. Great googly moogly. And he's the most powerful out of all of these guys. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have put that probably a little bit closer to here. But this this will still stop. Them. There's only so many ways that they could come up, and this pretty much has pretty much has that well um, covered. Once I have all this heavy stuff done, it should it should be okay. It should be okay. I'm gonna just sit here and drink my coffee a second. Oh see, and now they're already done. But that's okay because oh well see, a lot of good this would have done me anyway. I can't place it at a nice point where it would actually be able to reach down there. Oh, well, maybe. It doesn't really, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of space to work in. I'll just send the rest of them over there to work on it. And they're getting there. Yeah, so by the time they're done with that and they're done with that, I should have... Oh, see, and now I got two birds, so things must be picking up a little. That's good. And that should be done in no time at all. No time at all. Make a little demonstration here, since they want to try coming up. See how hard these guys hit. Boom! Did you see that? I tried to keep the cursor on him so you could see his life bar. It's at the bottom of the screen. If you need to go back and check that out. Dead bodies everywhere! <laughs> Oh, 
Almost. Almost. And watch this mo watch this ball right here. Watch that mana shoot right up once they're all done with this stuff. Boom, there's that one. Immediately went to negative 93. And now it's starting to climb. So that must mean this is almost done. Yep. And now it's ready. The funny thing again about this is that I may not I may not even have to use all of the birds to begin with. <laughs> But now we've got three, we've got a fourth one coming, and there's that mana bar, right as I said that. So I'm going to let it do its thing real quick. I'm going to top off my coffee cup. By the time I get back, this should be ready to rock. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. It's only been maybe six minutes, seven minutes, something like that, since I walked away. And we've already got a nice amount of birds for our first run. Thanks for showing up to the party. And so, let the attack begin! <laughs> okay, let's do this, come on. Oh, they're coming. They're coming to take that out. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. You watch. They're already on the offensive, which is good for me. <laughs> so first, we take out that lodestone. I'm just gonna systematically shut them down. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that fun? That was fun, wasn't it fun? Now it's time to show up to their little camp here and just ruin their day. <laughs> I don't know, is it bad that I'm taking some pleasure out of this? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a lot of pleasure out of this. With this many birds, I am not worried about their attacks. It's those archer towers that have to go. Because those are those those watchtowers there. If I let them live. And look, they are barely touching them. Take this out, because we don't need any more archers shooting at us. It's the only real threat here is those archers. Then we take that out. In the off chance that they happen to defeat all these birds, it won't matter, because I'll already have a secondary army ready to come swoop down and take them all out. Yes, my pretties! Destroy! <laughs> yes! Mayhem! Carnage! <laughs> I don't know, maybe these guys are the good guys, but they're going down. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to know. <laughs> I'll take out their other lodestone. Then we just got to take out their mage builders and as much of their army as possible. I think I came in fast enough. Pretty sure I came in fast enough to uh, really do a number to their... Uh, stuff here. That's an archer. Now we gotta find their mage builder. There he is. He's already taking some damage. But what's he gonna do with all these birds coming towards him? Look at that! Like, oh no! I'm not happy. That just ruined my day! Oh, uh, well, while they're over there wreaking havoc, let's bring in wave two for giggles. 
See, the nice thing about this strategy has been that I just basically run a distraction with all the all the stuff that I have that's defending de defending my camp, which as as you've seen, I was able to walk away from my computer and I was de I was fully defended there. Nothing nothing else happened. So there you have it guys. It's a nice fast effective little strategy here. Here come my reinforcements. <laughs> They're just gonna clean up what's left around here. Once they're all once they're all dead, that should be a victory. Any second now. And maybe all, all it's gonna take is just taking out one guy, I don't know. There should be a victory. I think the computer's trying to get a little technical on me here. I think once this once this whole area is clear, that's it. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Yes! Destroy! Destroy! <laughs> there it is, folks! Victory! Victory! And I did pretty good time, too. Wasn't too shabby if I say so myself, and I do! Oh, well, there it is. That's chapter eight. And I hope, or no, what? yeah, that was chapter eight. So, hey, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe. I've got more videos coming. I've started up Baldur's Gate, so there'll be plenty of those coming. And now that we're past this, maybe I can uh, move a little further ahead now. <laughs> oh. But anyway, hey, read my comics on Tumblr. I'll leave a link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at Jack Unchained. Until the next video, I'm still Jack. You all have a great day.